Hi, Scott Culbertson with COFAX Channel Programs. I'm joined today by Graham Etherington from NeoPost. Yep. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Scott. Nice to meet you. Hey, we've got, there's so much energy around digital transformation. How do you have that conversation with your customers? Well, it's difficult because you've got to understand where to have the conversation and which part of the organization. Um, obviously, we've worked in the mailroom for quite many, many years. So we've started to have the conversation with the, the C-level to talk about what their plans are. Because a lot of customers want to go digital, but they don't know how and is it complicated. And that's one of the pressures we have to make that transition to say it is actually quite easy if you speak to the right partner. And who, who, is, the right, who is the right partner? Well, obviously, <laughs> near post, no, Cofax. Bad, bad question. So, um, so when, you, when you have that conversation, who, is, is it a different person in the organization that you need to talk to? Absolutely, Scott. Um, there's been a lot of changes in organizations and they've brought in a lot of transformation managers, mm -hmm. a lot of digital um, area communication directors. And their job is to test the marketplace and say, is it one, true that everybody's going to digital? And two, how can we do it and make it work for us as a business? So what are the areas you see where you've seen the most uptake, the most interest? It's basically moving from paper to digital and that's more inbound and outbound. So basically when we communicate with our customers, you've got to ask yourself a question or two questions. Mm -hmm. One, have we got the right information? And two, how do they want to receive the information? Um, because there's many areas where customers want to go digital, but their customers are not ready to receive in digital communication. So it's, you have to really start communicating with your internal customers as well and your external customers. So that conversation about digital transformation, is that you starting the conversation or are they asking you? How, how do you go about getting that conversation going? Well, I think because of the situation with certain organizations, we have to be proactive. Because as I said earlier, a lot of companies want to do it, but they don't know how, so we have to take them ideas. So we would probably go to the transformation director and ask them what their preferred communication is going to be in five years time. And then we'll start to have a conversation about, did you know, you know what COFAX can do, how many posts can partner you, and how we can start the conversation within the organization. Then it normally goes to a project group. And after the project group, then you start to put action plans in place. Um, but most companies now are setting up project groups to explore what is digital transformation and how do we go about it. So are, there, are there certain areas where they, they usually start? Is there a, a smart place for them, the organization, to kind of... Wherever it's heavily paper. Um, you know, everyone's going paper light, paper touch. Uh, you had frictionless uh, said today. So when they've got a lot of inbound and outbound paper, that's where we can start to say, how do we re you know, take away this pressure of manually inputting data mm -hmm. through physical uh, dig, uh, physical paper. And in the mailroom, do we see expansion of what we're doing there around digital transformation in that kind of mailroom environment? Um, absolutely. Um, most customers now are starting to do electronic invoicing. Um, mail is uh, reducing, but communication is increasing. You just have to take it, take it down the correct route of communicating with their customers. Mm -hmm. So that's where we would normally have our conversations and then move to our organization. Thank you, Graham. It's a pleasure having you here today. And thank you for joining us here with Graham Etherington from NeoPost. Much appreciated. Thank you, Scott. Thank you.